Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through a drop arm test. Now, the purpose of this test is to look for a massive rotator cuff tear. So just before we actually show you the test, we want to mention that we're going to demonstrate the test on our patient's right arm, not the left arm. And that's because we don't want to slow your video down. But of course, in clinical practice, you always want to compare the two. So how do we do the test? The therapist will passively take the patient's arm to a 90 degree abduction position. We can hold it for support whilst they're up here. In a second, we're going to drop their arm, as it's called the drop arm test. And we're going to ask our patient to see if they can gradually lower their arm back down to the side. And we want to ask them to do it in as, with as much control as possible. All right, so we're just going to hold the arm here. In a second, we're going to drop it. And then we're going to, the patient's going to gradually bring their arm back to the neutral. And we can see our patient here can do this very well. Now, another variation of the test is just to ask them to hold the arm at exactly the same point when we drop it. So when we drop it, the patient can hold it. And that's how we do the test with the variations. So what is the positive result? Well, we're looking for a massive rotator cuff tear. And in that situation, your patient won't be able to hold their arm and they certainly won't be able to control it. So you might see the arm go very floppy and then the arm just falls down to the side like so because they can't control it. Sometimes what you also see if you're doing the variation when you ask the patient to hold it horizontal is that they'll have a big bounce and then they might be able to hold it at like a 40 degree range, for example, but they certainly won't be able to hold it at 90. Uh, finally, let's just touch upon what we actually find in clinical practice. Well, we quite like this test. Um, we think it's one of those tests that if you have predicted that they have um, a massive rotator cuff tear, then it's likely to tick that box for the final time. You may well be able to diagnose uh, a rotator cuff tear before this. For example, if your patient has very little active abduction, let's say to 40 degrees, but passively you can take it all the way, then that generally shows you that they might well have a rotator cuff tear, as well as the fact that if you resist their abduction or external rotation or internal rotation, you'll find the power is very weak. A combination of those is likely to tell you that they have a rotator cuff tear, and as we said, the drop arm test, if it's positive, just ticks that box for you. 